Many Africans has their big dreams of being successful, living a good life, developing their country, while many has the same dreams but don't think on how to change their country. Africa as a continent is heavily endowed with mineral resources, ranging from human resources, oil and gas, precious metal, fertile soils of farming, and many others. Not only that, but also with green vegetation and different species of animals. So in today's video, we will be mainly discussing about Mr. Kigandu who is popularly known as Ham. He has built a new White House exactly like that one in, in America. Without wasting much of your time, let's delve into the video. But before that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload an educating video like this. At only 38 years, Kigandu, commonly known as Ham, is a Ugandan businessman, investor, real estate and property developer, philanthropist, and author of two books, which is titled Success and Failure Based on Reason and Reality, published in 28, and his newly published book Reason is the World Masterpiece, published in 2021. The multi-billion state-of-the-art building, dubbed the Ugandan White House, is located in Entebbe, a city in central Uganda, drawing inspiration from the official residence and workplace of the President of the United States of America. Ham Kigandu's lookalike project will house his Ham Agro Processing Industries headquarters. According to the real estate Maludi, his Ugandan White House will be a regional tourist attraction and a symbol that you don't need to go to America to tour the White House since the development has been already set in the Pearl of Africa. Ham explains that God has blessed Uganda with a green landscape across 80% of its land surface area, tropical climate, and fertile soils, which is why it's called the Pearl of Africa. And despite all these natural God-given resources, Uganda is still ranked among the world's poorest countries. Likewise, Africa is naturally gifted with abundant natural resources. From human resources, precious metals, oil and gas, favorable climate and fertile soils. On Ham's speech, he said with all these natural resources yet today, there are more Africans that have flown to the West, willingly to work there, than when they were taken by force as slaves. Which leads to some question that goes like why is Africa poor, even though it holds the largest percentage of the world's natural resources and deposits. According to Ham, it is the mindset of focusing on one's advancement while not supporting those around you that is keeping Uganda chained. Most Ugandans dream of getting a four-wheel drive as the solution for dealing with the potholes in our street instead of focusing on fixing the pothole. It simply means Africans at home and in the diaspora need to stop investing in foreign land and individual satisfaction at the expense of their people and land. Ham believes it is possible for Africa to self-sustain. Africans have the capacity transformed from being merely consumers to stranding as producers. Instead of spending on imported finished products, we should start investing in production because we hold the resources, raw materials, and human capital to run the factories. Tommy said, I have always admired the White House as a young man, but based on reason, why should I go to America as a tourist to visit the White House when I have the means to build a lookalike here back home? He ventured into import trading mainly of textile material to Uganda and slowly grew in the business from which he launches a multi-billion real estate company, Ham Group of Company. He started with a pilot project of one integrated agro-processing plant in the central area, expecting that the government and other Ugandans would join him along the way for full implementation to cover all 10 zones in Uganda. His real estate company has already built a stadium, malls, agro-processing industries, silos and manufacturing and processing plants, a luxury residence city among others. The multi-billion state-of-the-art building, the Ugandan White House, which is located along Entebbe Express Highway. According to Hamis, the plant, strategically located just seven minutes from the Entebbe International Airport, cost over $156 million to set up. It serves as a model factory for a project he plans to roll out across the country based on agricultural zoning. He states that agriculture stands as a clear and direct gateway for Uganda from poverty to prosperity. Ham believes in personal responsibility and leading by example. He built his Uganda White House out of love for his country as an illustration to all Ugandans and Africans to invest in their home. Ham says it doesn't have to be this way, so long as Africans change their mindset and focus on building their homeland. The answer lies in the state of reasoning out what needs to be done and putting it into reality. His Uganda White House stands as an illustration to his fellow countrymen that if the U.S. can build it there, we too can build it here. Ham believes that if Uganda is to develop, it should be a collective effort from all Ugandans, and agriculture is the way forward. With our good climate, fertile soils and young, energetic population, agriculture is a means for the youth not only to earn income but contribute to the tax base and increase the national income as well. 
That is why, through leading by example, Ham has already started investing in 10 agro-processing plants around the camp with a central region pilot project situated in over 1,000 acres in Sisa to employ as many Ugandan youths as he can. He is now constructing Ham Palm Villas, a private gated community in a prime city that will house 500 premium houses. Hamis is also building a replica of the White House in Kampala, which will serve as the headquarters for several of the younger enterprises he's launching, including an agro-processing firm and a slew of web and mobile tech startup. But the renovation of the Nakavubo War Memorial Stadium is undoubtedly Hamis Kikandu's most important endeavor right now. In 2017, the Ugandan government formed a joint venture with Ham Group to renovate the stadium, which includes improving the grounds, expanding seating capacity from 30,000 to 35,000, and erecting retail outlets within the facility's outer wall. His company is funding the multi-million dollar project. We can't only tell you what he have achieved so far without telling you his early age of struggling. Hamis Kigudu was born on February 10, 1984, in the family of Mr. Sagawa Haruna and Mrs. Nakagiz Ajalia. He was raised in a small community of Kalunga, Uganda, and East. Masaka, which used to be a larger town but is now a metropolis, includes Kalunga Village. Kigudu attended Masaka Primary School and spent most of his school holidays helping his father, a textile trader, in his shop. His family moved to Kampala while he was in high school. He attended Kabaja Secondary School from there. Later, he attended Makura University and earned a bachelor's degree in law. Kigudu admits that he is more of a businessman than a lawyer these days. In 2005, during his middle school vacations, Hamis Kigandu's parents gave him some funds to start a business, providing him with the opportunity to put his brooding entrepreneurial skills to the test. Hamis began by purchasing clothing, furniture, ladies' purses, and other items from huge importing wholesalers and reselling them locally for a profit. As his profit margins increased, he started sourcing directly from international markets and became a first-hand importer. He purchased clothing and other goods from China, Thailand, Hong Kong, and Dubai and sold them wholesale in Uganda and adjacent countries such as Kenya, Tanzania, Burundi, Congo, and Sudan. Kigudu's reason for choosing those exact products he traded was because his parents dealt in those commodities at the time. As his trading business grew, he decided to branch out into a more complex industry, and real estate seemed to be an obvious choice. He mostly purchased and sold land and properties for a profit before forming Ham Enterprises Limited and building and owning his own commercial property. Ham Towers. Ham Towers is a flagship property and the first building in the Hamis Kigadu portfolio. It is in a class shopping, lodging, and recreation hub that features offices, restaurants, supermarkets, and a service department across Makura University. Ham Towers has helped Kigadu to master the game of commercial real estate. This first project had helped him pinpoint his mistakes and move faster because he knew what to expect when it came to commercial real estate space. He made progress in a little over one year and moved on to construct his second property, Ham Shopping Mall. His clothes business was still booming while he received additional rental money from Ham Tower, and he had secured the space where he intended to put the property. As a result, he acquired bank funding because he had adequate collateral. Tams has other real estate projects like Ham Palm Villa. The Ham Palm Villas has 500 modern residences under it, which means capital accumulation. The investment Kigudu is making is slow and controlled, but he expects it to pay off handsomely in the long run. He easily sells them to stages when he needs money. The initiative functions similarly to a bank in that it secures cash for future investment while also offering a service to its community or society. The major reason he built the White House is to serve as headquarters for all Hamis Kigandu's firms, also functioning as a tourist attraction. It will also serve as an example of possibilities for his Ugandan peers and Africans in general. He also has real estate projects outside Uganda. Hamis Kigandu owns a commercial property in the United Kingdom called Ham International UK Limit which is located at 375 Moston LN, Manchester M49 NB. He also owns Ham International Express Logistics LLC, a logistics company situated in Ulyss, Texas, that operates a fleet of vehicles across the United States. Ham's Link Limited, a multimedia platform company situated in Edmonton, Canada, is also owned by Hamis. He chose to invest in the West because business is all about taking calculated risks in unknown new economic zones based on a balance of probability. As we come to the end of the video, please share to us, on the comment section, what you know or think about this ambitious young man, about what he said in development of Uganda and Africa. And also remember to subscribe if you are new to the channel or have not done that before. Thanks for watching. See you on our next video.